Something you would least expect to find on board an aircraft carrier is definitely a store, let alone a coffee shop. Aircraft carriers are first and foremost warships. But people rarely think about all the things that go into making a sailor's life normal while they are at sea. We're talking about more than 5,000 men and women that make up the crew of aircraft carriers, especially when deployments can last for six months to over a year. That's a very long time they have to spend away from their families, friends, and even dry land. So the ship becomes their second home. Here is where they eat, where they sleep and where they work. The US Navy is working hard to create a sense of home away from home for sailors. And this may come in a shape of a cup of coffee that tastes exactly like the one back at home. They can enjoy a coffee drink that actually tastes like Starbucks, right there on the carrier. The ship's crew was trained by Starbucks staff, using the same preparation method and ingredients that we all find at the famous coffee shop. This way they brought a little bit of home on board the ship. White chocolate mocha, extra caramel. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to maintain a high morale among the crew of any warship. Sailors work 12-hour shifts every day. They do not have days off, not even on weekends. Imagine not having access to many of the facilities we get to enjoy daily after so much work. It can hit pretty hard. And sailors can't just take a trip into town to buy stuff. Because you know, it's just too far away to swim. But with a coffee shop on board the carrier, sailors can start their day or relax after a working shift by sipping their favorite cup of coffee. Enjoy. They might not always come into the coffee shop with a smile, but once they have that cup of coffee in their hand, they'll most definitely leave with one. They do have to pay for the coffee, but at a sweet, lower price. We're all surprised that we actually have a Starbucks that it actually tastes like Starbucks, and the prices are cheaper than regular. Next in line. Thank you for you. This is benefiting sailors by giving them the hometown feeling, I guess. Uh, Starbucks you usually don't find on, on ships, especially warships. Right now we're out to sea, and so when we're in port, we're, you, you know, like the Starbucks is right across the street, and we're so used to getting one every time we go to work. It's, it just rejuvenates everybody and keeps everybody upbeat and everything. So we brought home to Carl Vinson. So a little bit of home. It's a nice change from having soda all day long. We get a little bit of something different. There is another popular place inside the ship that provides a sense of normalcy and allows sailors to enjoy familiar things, even when they're at sea. And the convenience store is one of them. In fact, all US warships have at least one store on board, but they do vary in size. And because aircraft carriers are so huge, they have several stores. And they are quite big, like a supermarket. Here is where sailors get to shop for different types of goods, from snacks and candies to personal care products beverages, tobacco products, and many more. They can even use shopping baskets, making the experience just like a regular visit to their local store at home. The shop can host a limited number of customers, so they usually wait for their turn by forming a line outside in the hallway. And there's another good reason why there are grocery stores on board Navy ships. There's only so much sailors can pack for deployments, and being on the ship for months at a time is not like being on base, where they can just take a trip into town to get what they need. And if they are in a hurry or just want to buy a thing or two, but don't want to wait in line at the ship store, there are vending machines inside the ship, from where they can grab a snack or a drink. It's the little things that sweetens their duty time at sea. The crew pays for all their purchases whether from the stores, Starbucks or the vending machines by using an electronic purse, called Navy Cash Card. This method replaces currency aboard the ship, and sailors no longer have to carry those annoying heavy coins in their pockets. All profits from the stores, vending machines and the coffee shops go back to the crew through Morale Welfare and Recreation Division. I know what you may think. Join the Navy, and then you end up working in a convenience store. Well, retail services specialist, formerly known as the ship's service men, manage and operate the ship's retail and service activities. But they're also that friendly face that makes sailors feel at home, even when they are not. And they contribute to the overall well-being and morale of the crew. Their work can enhance the quality of life on board the aircraft carrier. So they play a huge role in uplifting the morale of the ship's crew. You'll see them working in offices, ship stores, coffee kiosks, barber shops, and laundry plants. 
The Steel Beach Picnic is another morale builder that the ship's captain can call for. Sailors get to enjoy a day off and relax on the flight deck and in the hangar bay. Hence the name Steel Beach. Basically it's a picnic while they're underway. The crew sets up barbecue pits and cook burgers, hot dogs and steak. During the party you'll see them sunbathing, dancing, or playing different sports. There are lots of sodas and iced tea, and even though the US Navy has a no-alcohol policy aboard the ships, the captain may request a beer day, which can be held on the same day as the Steel Beach Party. So sailors get to blow off some steam and feel a little taste of home. During the festivities, the flight deck is full of people and instead of the excitement of launching aircraft, the whole crew is just having fun and relaxing on a day off. It's a perfect opportunity for the entire crew to recharge their batteries. They do not fly planes that day, so those working on the flight deck get a well-deserved day off, as well as those who carry out their duties in parts of the ship where they don't get much sunlight. They hold this special day if the ship is at sea for a few months in a row, and of course when weather and schedule allows it. Later in the day as the sun sets down, they grab all the gear off the deck and retire to their stations, getting ready for the next day and for the mission ahead. So it's back to their regular shifts, but they still have the coffee shops, the stores, and all the other facilities aboard. Even though aircraft carriers are primarily made for launching 60-plus aircraft that can strike pretty much any type of target, they also provide various facilities to support the needs of the crew during their deployment. This includes a laundry room, a uniform shop, medical and dental offices, a dry cleaner, barber shop, and fitness center. 